So as you guys can hear my neighbors banging around in the hallway, I wanted to talk about why we hate living in this apartment. I still don't think they're done. If you guys have been watching our videos up to this point, you know we've probably at some point talked about the fact that we want to get a house. And I know a lot of people would say, you still have debt, you shouldn't get a house. Like, I get it. So I thought I would outline A, why we don't want to live in this apartment, and B, the benefits of us getting a house and why those outweigh a lot of what other people would consider the benefits of living in an apartment. One of the first things that comes to mind for me with why I don't like this apartment is that there's not really a good space to be outside. And I mean, a lot of mental health things show that spending time outdoors is really good for you. But around here, that's incredibly difficult because all of the outdoor spaces are not only shared spaces, but you can literally feel and see people watching you out of their apartment windows, trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to, and you don't just get any peace and quiet and alone time around here if you go outside. Along that same note, like I said, with going outside and having space outside, is that the side of the building that our apartment is on has sun right now in the morning, but normally I would be at work. I actually happen to have today off because it's a holiday, but as soon as it's like 10 a.m., there's not actually any natural sunlight coming in through the windows. So when we get home from work, it's dark in here. There's no sunlight. And if you want to go outside and get some sunlight around here, the apartment parking lots are on the sunny side of the building. So if you want to go out and sit in the sun, you literally have to go outside and sit in the parking lot. And that's really depressing and not helpful. The next thing, which I will try to splice in some footage for, and maybe you even saw at the beginning of this video, is that everyone here is so noisy. And I've been to friends' apartments where it is louder than this. And, you know, I'm not saying that we have it the worst or anything like that, but it's just sucky in general in a lot of ways. And... I made a list of a lot of the noise that goes on around here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read you the list. So, first thing, and this is just by location, this is not the apartment's fault, but we happen to be in the direct path of the local airport, and it's not like, you know, little two-seater biplanes, this is like full commercial jets. So, we have low-flying aircraft going over our apartment multiple times a day. And it's loud. It is so loud. The next one also, because I happened to pick this apartment where it was and then Chris moved in with me, is that we live across from a school and I did not realize how loud the school was going to be. Like, they don't just go outside and play sports and that's cool and they're done with it. They have a giant speaker. Oh, you can see one, hear one of the other things on my list. Anyway, they have an audio system that they like to pipe incredibly loud music through. And I do not know when these kids sleep, but they play sports and have games going on on weekdays and weekends until 11 at night sometimes. And it is outrageously loud. And it's not even like oh, they're playing good music or whatever. It's so distorted because it bounces through the courtyard and people drive by honking their horns and losing their minds and shouting out windows. Oh my God, I would never in a million years live near a school ever again. So 
So those are some of the things that like, I don't like about this apartment and it's not the apartment's fault. I am the one that chose to live here, but it's stuff that I apparently didn't think that much about or didn't think would be that bad when I moved in and it turns out that I hate it. <laughs> so you've probably heard some of the noise in this video. It's one of those ones I can't always tell because I'm recording with my phone and the microphone is actually facing that way, but a lot of the apartments are that way. So sometimes directionally, you can't always hear things on the microphone that are actually shockingly very loud. So if you can't hear it, I promise they're still there and they're still loud. Um, one of the first things is we just have wooden doors that separate us from the hallway in this apartment and they're not... I don't want to say airtight, but you can like walk up and see a gap around the door. But people have the loudest conversations on the face of this earth in the hallways. And I don't know why they do it in the hall instead of in their apartment or instead of outside, but people are so loud in the halls that you can stand on the other side of the door and hear private information, you could realistically have a conversation at normal volume with them, with the door in between you if you felt so inclined. Like, people just stand outside of their apartment and talk like they need to shout the distance between them and the person on the phone. It is maddening. The other one that you can maybe here in the background of this video and I don't remember if I have other video to splice in here but there are multiple families with infants and toddlers in this building but the kid across the hall screams bloody murder all the time and you can hear it everywhere in this apartment Every time this kid is screaming, you can actually hear him all the way back in our bedroom. Another thing that I think I managed to record video of this morning is that as soon as the weather cools down even slightly, the pipes bang around in this building like demons are trying to get out of a portal. And the pipes that I recorded earlier were actually not that bad. I would say that most of the time when the pipes bang, it sounds like that. And it's usually tap, 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 tap. And it's like a two minute process. And normally when it happens, I stop recording or I cut that footage and start over because it's so ridiculously loud and it happens almost hourly. And that's another sound you can hear it through the entirety of our apartment. And I think it's because we have like radiant heat or whatever where it's with hot water and we don't have a radiator, but like that's the only thing I can figure just because it's not a sound you normally get during the summer, but like mid fall through late spring, it's all the time that it sounds like somebody just like making a drum beat on the walls as the pipes bang around and it's so irritating. This is another one that obviously you can't control for it when you live somewhere that there's other people doing maintenance, but it is something you can control for when you have your own house. And it's the fact that people just mow or vacuum the halls at completely random times and like I appreciate that other people are doing the mowing and I appreciate that they keep the hall clean but sometimes they vacuum at 
6 a.m. Sometimes they mow at 5 a.m. And it's, I, I'm not a morning person. I guess I should say that too. Like I've tried for almost 15 years now and I'm just not a morning person. And that's the kind of thing, Chris and I both are night owls. So we would probably do vacuuming or mowing at like 11 a.m. or 2 p.m. and not 4 or 5 a.m. It's just not convenient for the lifestyle that we want to live. And on that same note, I opted to live above the laundry room here because I wanted to be able to walk around as loud or as quiet as I kind of want. Not that I'm like stomping, but I don't want to feel like I'm disturbing anyone just by walking around. So I chose to live above the laundry room. And that's great for the fact that, you know, I can just be me, but the people who go downstairs to do laundry I swear to God they're doing it with a sledgehammer because that is the only explanation for how ridiculously loud they are doing laundry. Is that the apartment management has said, you know, no laundry before 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., but people do not follow that rule. So you can hear them doing laundry at 2 in the morning. Like, oh, it's not fun. And then because of the fact that there's not a lot of separation between the laundry room and my apartment, you also end up where it's super duper dry in here in the winter, like way more dry than normal. And it also gets really, really, really ridiculously hot in here. As it's piping to the outside, a lot of that heat comes through the floor into this apartment. I actually frequently have the heat off, like off, off. And because of people doing laundry regularly down there, it can actually still be 85 in this apartment, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, because it's there's just not any real separation. Like there are times in the winter when it's maybe 20 degrees outside that I have the windows open because it's so hot in here. So those are some of the things that are like really annoying about the apartment, but I mean, they're livable. They're not fun, but they're livable. But there's also a list of stuff that having a home would benefit us a lot more than having an apartment. One of the things is having our own property and maintaining it ourselves and making upgrades as we see fit. And I mean, going back to the laundry topic, because we share the washers and dryers with other people, and because you have to pay for the machines, people overstuff the washer and the dryer and break them all the time. And it's actually reached the point where even though the washers and dryers were just newly installed, maybe four months ago, you now have to run the dryer twice on the highest heat settings and it maybe comes out dry because people have busted the machines so bad. And it's really annoying, like things like that or just other upgrades and stuff that would make life better, but obviously we can't do them. It's not our property. Those aren't changes that we can make. Another thing too is we're not allowed to salt the sidewalks here. And we live in literally one of the snowiest cities in America, not necessarily the snowiest, although rumor has it that Rochester, New York does have the most inches of snow right now for a city, I guess. And between snow and ice, and we have a lot of days where there's like freezing rain, walking outside and falling down on the sidewalk is no fun, but you are literally not allowed to salt the sidewalk. And it's because they keep saying, oh, the sidewalks are so new and so nice. We don't want the salt ruining them. And it's like, I also like my tailbone and don't want that broken. And on that same note, they also plow the parking lot for us, but because it's on their terms, they often don't plow the parking lots until 9 or 10 a.m. Chris has to be to work 
by 7 most of the time, and I have to be to work by 8.30. So you either have to call in and say you'll get there when you get there or whatever, but like we literally, it's not even like, oh, we'll shovel a little bit and then we can get out. The parking lot is so deep that it's like an eighth mile. We can't shovel that by hand. And it's really annoying that, you know, if it was our own house, get up and do the snow blowing or plowing or whatever, salt our sidewalks. Like, we don't have to be last on the list of the property management. We would be able to do those things on our own terms. There's also a lot of limitations on what we can do here. And I'm not saying these are unreasonable by any stretch. I think these are perfectly fine for an apartment, but they limit our opportunities. So obviously we can't have heavy machinery. We can't, you know, be running power tools all the time and things like that. But that also means that a lot of the concepts and ideas that we have for having a home business are things that we literally cannot do in this apartment. Like we need an outbuilding off of our home or a garage or something like that because Chris wants to maybe run a machine shop. There's a lot of things that I wanna do like furniture restoration and things like that that I can't do here. Like I can't even, you know, spray paint something. I'm not allowed to do that in the courtyard and I can't obviously do that in my apartment, we would die. So it's a lot of little things like that where for extra financial opportunities, we just can't do those because we can't according to the lease for this apartment. And that's fine because I also wouldn't want other people spray painting and running power tools here, but a home would really expand those opportunities for us. And the other thing for us that also is no fun is the fact that, you know, we pay rent every month and we're not building any equity. We have nothing to show for it at the end. If we pay off a house, we have the house, we have the land, that's something that we can use as an asset and either sell it or, you know, that means our housing, aside from things like taxes and stuff, is eventually paid for. If this apartment is here for 50 years and I live here all 50 years, I have to pay rent all 50 years, every single month, and I own none of it. And I realize things like rent pay for things like maintenance and lawn care, and if the boiler blows, they have to replace it. I understand there's benefits, but for us, owning a home is more important because that really contributes to our net worth. So now that I've recorded the most unnecessarily long video in the history of the universe and pretty much just talked about why we want to get a house versus living in this apartment, I'm curious what you guys think. I do know a lot of people that they love apartment living, they prefer apartment living, they never want to get a house, and that's cool. I'm actually curious why you feel that way, why that is your chosen lifestyle, and if you would rather have a house, I'm also curious why you want to get a house. So I would love it if you guys would leave that in the comments down below. And as always, please subscribe to help our channel out and leave a like, which is awesome if you do because that helps the YouTube algorithm boost our video to other people. And I will see you guys in the next video.